Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again for another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video today. In today's video, we're going to be going over the leaked Madden 24 Ultimate Team Legends for the start of Madden. I'm pretty much going to be going over those. So, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe because you guys continue to show love. I really do appreciate it. Shout out to all my new subscribers. If you are if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the like button, drop a comment, let me know what you're new, continue to support. I appreciate it. So, of course, um, hopefully I don't get striked or I don't get... Um, you know my video deleted but pretty much the mutts uh mad all the team pretty much legends pretty they leaked so the legends for the beginning of the game um so we have eight of them that uh are in the game currently um so it has been leaked on twitter so i'm gonna go over them so as you can see on the screen uh, we do have a screenshot so all these are screenshots this is not gameplay these are screenshots um so i do have most of these legends and they're ratings the only person i don't have is frank franco harris that's the only player i don't have but he is a fullback so it don't really matter but anyway so these are going to be the legends for the start of madden 24 ultimate team so we got as follows we got right tackle 87 let me zoom in a little bit if you, get, if you guys can't see it so we got 87 overall right tackle dan deardorf right here then we have 87 overall fullback franco harris um, then we got 87 overall wide receiver Devin Hester. Um, and then we have 87 overall Ed Reed. Um, and then we have 87 overall cornerback Richard Sherman. And then we have 87 overall left in Javon Curse. And then we got 87 overall halfback Fred Taylor. Uh, 87 overall middle linebacker Junior Seau. And that is going to be pretty much your legends for the beginning of Madden Ultimate Team, of course, your first batch of legends. Um, all the other players are gonna be, of course, are going to be, of course, your set cards and stuff, like your 84s, 83s, 82s and stuff. So I'm pretty sure those cards are probably gonna be going into these sets. We didn't really get to see the exact, the person that, that was screaming this didn't even go into the actual set to see what it takes, but I'm pretty sure we'll need the 84s, the 82s, the 83 versions and stuff to put into the actual set to get the car. But I do have the ratings for a few of them, so let's go over those. So first up, we got Dan Dierdorf. Here we go, 87 overall. He's a right tackle. I know you guys see the images. Um, there's no, there's no images when the game gets released. It's probably, it probably the images are gonna probably load when the game actually officially released. But consider, considering that they're still working on it, and the game hasn't officially launched yet, that's why you don't see a picture. But this is 87 overall Dan Deardorff, of course. Here's his ratings. He has 85 strength, 85 awareness, 87 pass blocking, 86, um, yeah, so 86, 87 pass blocking and 86 run blocking. That's the only stats that really actually matter for linemen. Um, 6'3", 275. Um, this will probably most likely be the best right tackle in the game to begin the year. Um, next up, we have, I'm going to zoom in on this one. So we do have 87 overall wide receiver Devin Hester. So he's a deep threat receiver. Um, he has 87 speed, 86 jump, 84 catching, 82 catching traffic, 85 spectacular catch, 85 short route running, 83 medium route running, and 87 deep route running. And he's 5'11", of course. Um, so, yeah, um, I think 87 speed. I think that's the fast. I think Devin Hester is the fastest receiver in the game to begin the year because I know Tyree Hill, he's like 86. So, you, so yeah, Devin Hester is probably going to be the fastest receiver in the game. So, um, if you don't know, now you know but that's Devin Hester for you. Next up, we have 87 overall Ed Reed, free safety. So he's going to be a zone archetype. Um, he's going to be rocking 86 speed, 87 acceleration, 68 tackle, 86 play rec, 83 pursuit, 86 man coverage, 87 zone coverage, and 87 hit power. So Ed Reed is back in the game again this year. Um, I know he got tons of cars in Madden 23, so I'm I'm pretty sure he's he's gonna get a lot of cars this year as well too. But he's 5'11", of course, 200 200 pounds, um, pretty good speed, 86, good 80, good man and zone, 86 and 87. So Ed Reed is probably gonna be um, one of the best free safeties in the game for the beginning of of, of Ultimate Team for uh, Mutt. All right, so that's Ed Reed for you. Next up, we got who else we got here? We got Fred Taylor. So 87 overall halfback, elusive back, Fred Taylor um, for the Jaguars, of course. Um, he's going to have 85 speed, 86 acceleration, 85 agility, 85 carry, 61 catch, 87 change of direction, 82 trucking, and 85 break tackle. So he's going to be 6'1 and 228. He's going to have 79 strength, 85 agility, yeah, 85 speed, 86 excel, 61 catch. Not really 
gonna be uh, catching back. But as far as he does have really good break tackle and speed is 85. So that's pretty good for a running back. Is it the fastest? I think uh, I forgot who was the fastest running back in the game. I'm not sure who the fastest running back is in the game, but I think 85 is pretty good though for a running back. But that's gonna be Fred Taylor for you. Next up, we got 87 overall left in speed rusher. Of course, Javon Curse. You know how the, this card is a glitch literally every single year with that high ass finesse move. Um, but he's going to have 83 speed, 88 excel, 80 strength, 79 tackle, 83 play rec, 88 block shed, 84 power move, and 87 finesse move. Um, so he's, so he's going to be 6'4", and 265 will be his weight. But of course, everybody knows this card for his finesse move, which is insane. The block sheds and shit is going to be crazy. He has 88 block shed, which is, yeah, literally. Like, this, like this is going to be on pace to be somewhat similar to the Reggie White that we get in the actual field pass but this is going to be a glitch he's going to be the best left end in the game to begin mutt of course all right next up we got 87 overall middle linebacker junior seau um he's going to be rocking 83 speed 84 acceleration 80 strength 84 tackle 85 play rec 87 block shed 87 hit power and 75 zone of course he's going to be 6'3 255 of course um 80 strength um, pretty good strength there, catching 65, awareness 85, uh, stamina 86, injury 86, jumping 84, um, 6'3", so he is going to be a pretty decent middle linebacker, but I don't think, like I said, again, this year I think it's going to be sub linebackers, which is your safeties are still going to be your users this year, not sure if not linebackers are going to be any what, anything, you know, I don't even know if they're i don't even know if they're, they're going to animate I, i'm gonna be honest with you i don't even know if they're going to be they're going to animate to be honest um i've seen gameplay of them actually do something but the animations just don't look as clean as they used to be so it's going to be another safety year but um 83 speed is okay kind of low for a linebacker um but he has good block shed good hit power um and zone coverage is 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 it's it's okay it's okay all right. And then, of course, next up, we got 87 overall cornerback zone archetype Richard Sherman. So Richard Sherman, he's going to be rocking 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 87 agility, 88 jumping, 83 play rec, 84 man coverage, 87 zone coverage and 84 press. And he's going to be 6'3", of course, uh, and weight will be 195. And he has 68 strength, 79 catching, 83 awareness. Uh, what is it? 89 stamina. Um, I'm kind of shocked at that because they typically will butcher his stamina and he'll be so and he'll be running so slow um, and 88 jump. So Richard Richard um, Richard Sherman is going to be one of the best cornerbacks in the game to begin 87 zone 84 man coverage 84 press. Um, I don't think man coverage is going to be as good as it was in Madden 23, but um, I think zone coverage is really going to be pretty much defense are going to be depending on zones this year a lot more than man coverage last year so it's going to be pretty fun but this is going to be richard sermon for you and i think that is pretty much it when it comes to the screenshots these are all the screenshots i got of the legends like i said the only one that i don't have is the franco harris the franco harris is the only one i don't have but i have every other card um but like i said the sets are should be the same just like they were you add the 84s the lower overalls into the actual 87s in the um champion sets and then you'll be able to get the the full legend or whatever so it should be the same layout as far as just like we had in previous years but that's pretty much it for this video um if you guys enjoyed the video uh hit the like button subscribe continue to show love and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one